Okay, so I am here with little Isaac. I haven't uh, been on with him in a little while, and we're going to change him into this sweet little blue and white striped romper. Uh, it's got long, sl uh, long sleeves. Look at me. <laughs> sleeves. These are pants that they're long pants, long trouser legs, whatever. It is a, a little dungaree type romper. Not dungaree. It's just a romper, guys. I, you know, maybe I should start this over. <laughs> But it's got three little buttons here in the front. It's uh, a slate gray or uh, sort of a, a blue. I guess it's kind of a blue uh, with white stripes on it. And it's got little cuffs here on the bottom. And it's by uh, Organic Little Planet by Carter's. And we're going to put that on him. Because it's been a while since I did a changing video of my sweet little Isaac. Oh my gosh, I just love this baby. Just love this baby. He is the Tadeo sculpt by um, Doris Moyer Hornbogen. And uh, he's a full-bodied silicone and just I'm totally in love with this little fella. He is a sweetheart. He's heavy. <laughs> He's a big boy and he's heavy, uh, but we are going to change him. And I haven't quite decided his exact size yet because he wears like a large newborn or small zero to three. Let's see what this was. This one fit him pretty good, uh, but I have no idea what size it is. It doesn't say. Anyway, this is a little Peter Rabbit he had on for a theme Thursday. Gonna take off his little Susie's. So, um, have you guys been? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all your wonderful comments on the videos I've had recently. Um, I think I have responded to all your comments, but um, I'm gonna have to go back and check to be sure. So, uh, since I've been gone, since last week, we had uh, Sawyer's little birthday. He turned eight uh, on Easter Sunday, but we had his party the following Saturday because, well, we didn't think we needed to interrupt anybody's Easter with their family to have a birthday party. So he waited a week. He was gracious to wait a week for that. He is sweet in that respect. And I made his cake. I had asked him, he made a video with me, and I asked him then what kind of cake he wanted. And he said he wanted a rabbit in a hole. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So I made him a rabbit in a hole, and I'll show you that. So that was his cake, and uh, he loved it, and I uh, had a good time making it, and believe it or not, it was one of the simpler cakes I've, I've had to make. So these boys challenged me so much, and every cake I've ever made for their birthday has been the first time I ever made it, and the last. <laughs> so they challenge me every year, but it's all right. So this is my little Isaac, and um, some of you have commented a lot on his, his details on his sculpting, which he is very detailed. He does have armatures in his legs and in his arms, um, but I don't know if you can see, but you can definitely tell his little rib cage here. He's even got little individual ribs. I'm not sure how well that is showing up on video, but probably pretty good since some of y'all have commented on it. There's his little ribs. You can even see a little bit of his little sternum here. 
um, little rolls in his arms. He does wrinkle and uh, squishy little cheeks, beautiful little ears, and a sweet little face. I love these little pouty lips. I just adore those little pouty lips. <laughs> the way he's got them pursed up is so cute. And if um, I turn him over, and you can kind of see the little scapula in his back. He does have a little spine, little ridge here. Not sure how well you can see that. If I turn him side to side, maybe you can see the little ridge in his spine. Here's his little tuchus right there. And he does have his little boy bits in the front. Yes, he is a very, very sweet, sweet little boy. Precious feet. Look at those sweet little feet. And his toes, his big toe is separated from uh, his second toe. And his little toe is separated. <laughs> and these three in the middle are together. And then on this one, he's got, no, they're all together. Pretty much on that one. Cute little sticky outy belly button and as i said he does have little boy bits on him so won't show you that but they're there yeah a uh, cute little boy very sweet very very sweet i just adore this little guy so anyway uh yes um we uh, had a great time at uh, Sawyer's birthday. We had 10 kids there. And uh, we were at a place called Urban Air where they have all kinds of activities um, for them. You know, zip lines and uh, walking high beams up on the ceiling. There's trampolines. There's ball pits. There's obstacle courses. There's... Uh, this little spinny thing where you can jump. I mean, I'll show y'all a couple of those. Sawyer is actually doing that in one of these little videos, and he's actually pretty good at it. So here we go, sweetheart. Here we go. And uh, let's see, we're finished with the podcast. That's done, and this weekend will be the last two performances of the play that I've been doing dearly departed and then that will be done after Saturday then we'll have our cast party and uh, yeah so we're getting there we're getting there I just um, made reservations or bought my tickets to go to the Rose Doll Show I have decided to do that and uh, we'll be going in July so um, I didn't, I was not able to get tickets to some of the evening events because they were sold out because I waited so long. But I really wasn't sure that I was going to go or not. But um, being as the Kansas Style Show is the same weekend as my granddaughter Isley's first birthday, I know I won't be going to that. And I didn't want to miss both of them. So my husband told me to go ahead and go to the Rose. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to take a class. That'll be fun with uh, Jacqueline Kramer on advanced hair rooting. So that should be a lot of fun. And um, get to see some good friends, old friends, maybe meet some new friends. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So I've got my tickets to the show, floor show. I've got my class reservation. I've got to, I've got my hotel reservation and now I just have to make the plane, buy my plane ticket, which right now the prices are sky high. So I think I'm going to wait a little bit and see if they come down any. So there we are. There's my sweet, sweet, sweet little darling Isaac. And we have a new member of the nursery, a new jelly cat, which is a little cow. I think her name is Callie. Let's see. 
Yes, Callie. Callie cow. And it's got cute little hoofs on it. <laughs> little horns. Now it says Callie, um, which sounds like a girl's name, but I don't, I don't know. Do Yeah, I guess female cows have horns. I don't know. It looked like a little bull to me, but it says Callie, so we'll go with Callie. And uh, we're going to let little Isaac hang on to Callie for a little bit. Oh, we got another little blanket that he'll, that should go well with. Hang on, let me get that. I saw this precious little blanket uh, one day, and I just had to get it because it's so texas -y to me. It's got like the sheriff's badges in it. Let's see if you can see that. Right here, the little star, like a sheriff's badge. It's got Buck and Broncos, a cowboy and Buck and Broncos. It has cowboy hats. Uh, it's got the ropes, lassos, horseshoes, all kinds of little stuff on it. And uh, little stars and cowboy boots. Can you see that cowboy boot? I don't know if you can see it. It's one right here under his shoulder. A little cowboy boot. And... Uh, so I thought that was just the sweetest little blanket. And uh, at rodeos, and we do go to rodeos here in Texas, and they do have bull riding, which is one of my favorite events. I do like the, um, the horseback riding as well, but I do love the um, bull riding. So uh, I figured that would be a nice little cowboy thing uh, to put his little <laughs> bull and his little western blanket. So there we go. Give his little hair a go over. His little white blonde hair he's got here. Yeah. And there we have it. So there is my sweet Isaac and his little wool or cow, Callie. So there we go. I hope you all enjoyed seeing that little guy. And uh, Hope to be doing a video tomorrow. I do have uh, a friend coming over to um, play music with me tomorrow at 11 o'clock in the morning, so I may be late in getting my theme Thursday in, but hopefully I can get it done in the afternoon. But we are preparing. We have an Emmaus uh, team meeting this Saturday, and of course we're the musicians, so we're going to be going over some music and pulling music for that. Okay, so... Uh, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you all are having a wonderful week, and I hope to see you very soon. Love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.